23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Monday. An arrest has been made overnight following a fire in downtown Bakersfield that's being called intentional. Right now, Bakersfield police say 40-year-old Amber Hernandez was taken into custody for starting a car fire on M Street near the corner of 22nd. The fire led to the evacuation of KGET Studios just after 11 Sunday night. BPD units on scene said they found several things at the scene, including wooden crosses. We'll continue to follow the story. We'll bring you new details as they come into the 23 ABC newsroom. We should find out tomorrow if Kern County can move into the red tier. State officials say Kern County had to reach the metrics two weeks in a row in order to move out of the purple tier. A move would allow restaurants to officially resume indoor dining at 25% capacity, along with other businesses like movie theaters and museums. Plus, a restaurant update for you. Chef's Choice Noodle Bar announced if the county does move to red, they'll be reopening their downtown location with limited dine-in service. The new location in the marketplace they say is coming along, but there is still little work to be done. So the current downtown operation will stay open till April 17th, which will close out then 10 years at that location. Before they leave, though, restaurant owners say they'll have some customer appreciation specials. All right, let's bring in Elena Russ and get a check of that Monday forecast. Well, after a fantastic weekend, today is much of the same. Some 60s, some sunshine, some high clouds, and some good air quality. We love that. But then this system up over the Pacific Northwest will be digging down on the other side of the Sierra after we hit our highs for the day. So these upper 60s here on the valley floor, low 60s in the Kern River Valley, low to mid 50s in Tatchby and Fraser Park. Take that, knock it way down tomorrow. Because even though that system is the other side of the Sierra, the cool air and the winds are still coming through. So with a wind advisory going into effect at 5 p.m. today, you'll notice it's colder and blustery overnight. The fastest of those winds is always through the passes and down into the desert. So that will take us from today's 60s right on down to some lower 60s for the valley. Only the 40s in Tatchby and Fraser Park tomorrow with a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. And that's a look at just some of the things we're following at this hour. Don't forget you can get breaking news, weather and traffic anytime you need it anywhere by downloading our free mobile and tablet apps. We'll have another update for you right here later today.